Hi, this is Sign of the Apocalypse. Um, this is going to be something a little different from the usual um, videos we've been uploading recently. Um, we're going to start a new series of video tutorials on special effects. Um, this, special, this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to do a basic muzzle flash. This is going to be for beginners and is going to be the first in this long series of um, beginner muzzle flash tutorials in a bunch of different video effects programs. Although they're all relatively similar, this time around I'm working in After Effects CS6. If you don't have it, you can download a demo at the Adobe website or um, purchase it with the Creative Cloud. Um, it's a terrific program, um, but that's beside the point. So, the, uh, like I mentioned earlier, this tutorial is going to be for beginners. Um, if you have a little more experience with this sort of thing, I don't think you're going to get as much out of this. Um, but someone who's just starting out and wants to understand the basics, I think they will appreciate this video a lot more and the videos that will follow. After that, we'll be uploading more advanced um, advanced tutorials, um, increasing in difficulty. After the video has been over and you want to try and replicate what I've done in this tutorial yourself, um, we are going to include the same stock footage and images that I use during this tutorial at the end of the video so that you can extract them and use them yourselves. Links um, for some of the footage will be in the description. Check that out. Um, and thanks for watching. So now to start off, um, I have my clip here of, um, it's just of, um, it's just of Matt walking. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty lousy clip. Um, we shot it a, a long time ago, but I mean, just a tutorial. So. We'll open that up, um, bring it into our, um, create a new comp from it. Um, X out of this. So this is our new comp. Um, you need to scrub through it to where the muzzle flash would occur, which is at this frame here. And so there, once we found that point, even though it's sort of hard to tell, this is about where it would be. So then we bring in our muzzle flash element. So um, we notice it's at the beginning of the comp, so I guess we just need to slide it back until we find the frame where it is. So um, this clip is from the Video Copilot Action Essentials pack, but you can easily um, find more pictures like this simply by doing a Google search, um, Google image search, and this will be included at the end of the video. Um, th the Video Copilot pack is really, they call it Action Essentials for a good reason. I highly recommend picking it up. It's a must-have for beginners or experts, um, anyone working with video effects and is interested in special effects. Definitely pick up their pa uh, pack. Uh, there'll be a link in the, the, the description. Um, now, the first thing that you notice is that it's on a black background. And that can be a bit of a difficulty um, because, well, for obvious reasons. But to make the background transparent, you just need to right click, um, go into blending mode, and set it to screen, which removes all the black elements from the image. So there you go. A very nice looking muzzle flash um, in our image. So now we just need to reposition it um, by clicking on the element, dragging it to where it would be. If you click a W, you can pull up the rotation controls and uh, sort of rotate it um, maybe again. Um, put it in the place where it would be. And this is pretty roughly where the flash would take place. Um, now we notice that um, that the flare is perhaps a little bit too big for the gun that it's being fired from, which is a simple solution. Um, pull up the scale controls under the muzzle flash, tapping S, um, and you can pull it down just a touch. And then you can reposition it a little more. Um, so then you notice that uh, the clip here, if we play through it, um, it's a little bit too long. So we can trim it by doing um, Option or Alt and right bracket. And that trims it down to one frame long. Um, here's our working area to adjust this area. Now, and play through. Now, all right, that looks good. But the tutorial isn't over. Um, the crucial thing to add to a muzzle flare to make it sell is the smoke, which is arguably the most important part of the muzzle flare, with the exception of the flare itself. Um, 
I got the a bunch of n really nice looking smoky effects um, from detonationfilms.com, which is another excellent resource. This pack was all downloaded on their website for free, cost absolutely nothing. It's a very nice collection of standard definition of effects and a great collection of paid high definition effects. Definitely check them out if you're um, sort of in the low budget area and need some very nice quality um, standard definition and high definition effects. Um, links in the description to this pack. Um, so now we just pull out the first one, um, pull it on into our comp, um, pull it back over here, and all the detonation films clips have a 10 frame long um, uh, still at the beginning before the effect actually begins. So we just go through until we reach the first frame and then option left bracket. Then we can just grab it in the timeline, pull it along until it is at the same frame as our flash. And like we did with the flash, just right click, blending modes, and set it to screen. There, um, we can just reposition it, move it into place, maybe um, scale it up a little, and play through it. And there, the smoke is subtle, but it really sells the effect. Um, there's one other thing. Such a bright light like this um, would have an environmental impact and actually change the world it was in rather than just being posted on top. And what would happen here is um, the bright light from the flare would actually reflect back on our very talented actor. So the way we would do that is um, to create a lightened version of the background footage and create a mask to only be around the areas that would be affected by the light. Um, do this by um, clicking on our footage, duplicating it, that's a command D. Um, taking the duplicated layer um, and just creating a mask. So this is going to be very rough, just roughly around the area that would be affected by the flare. And now once we've masked that, um, you can set the blending mode of this one to add or screen depending on the situation, but this is broad daylight so add might work better. And um, it's restricted to just this area, so but before we do anything to that, um, can press F to pull up the feathering controls and just feather the crap out of this mask. And then we use option uh, right uh, left bumper and option right bumper to make it only a frame long. This is um, the effect with and without the glow, and you can see how it really enhances the image, um, if only for just a second uh, or a frame. Now just playing through, this is the effect. So our final effect, and even though he's shooting twice a second time, I've just animated the first flare here. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to email us, signoftheapocalypse at gmail.com. Check out the description for all the free effects. Um, and thanks for watching. If you learned something from the video, um, please feel free to like or um, Subscribe if you're interested in more information on different programs that'll be coming out soon. We'll be covering Apple Motion, Final Cut Pro, iMovie, the work. So if you're interested for that and enjoyed this video, um, uh, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. La mer, on voit danser le long du golf clay, à des reflets. Dar